welcome back to my channel. My name's Kelly from Kelly Lee Creates, where I teach lettering and digital design tutorials. So today I have a tutorial for you um, in Procreate. I am going to show you how to make this fun custom flower brush. Um, now these steps you can use to make any custom brush. I'm going to show you how to do this flower, but these steps will work to make any brush that you would like to make. So the first thing that we are going to do is come up here to the brush library, this little paintbrush icon right here, and tap on that. And then you're going to go to the calligraphy uh, brush library, tap on calligraphy, and we're going to choose the monoline brush. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a copy of this monoline brush, and then we're going to edit that copy and turn it into this flower brush right here. So to make a copy of the brush, you just swipe left and hit duplicate, and then you can see it says monoline one. And then I'm just gonna tap on that. So that brings up the brush studio, and you can see here, there's a lot of things on the left-hand side right here that you can change, but we're only gonna focus on a few. The first thing we're gonna change is this shape. So tap on the shape, and underneath the shape source, you're going to hit edit and then import. And then you're going to go down to the source library. Now, this comes completely free with Procreate. And if you scroll through, you can see a bunch of different um, sources. And what these are is these form the basis of your brush. So if you choose, let's say, this charcoal soft source right here, your brush is going to look like a charcoal. And if you choose like flare right here or flakes, that is what your the base of your brush is going to look like. But we're gonna choose this flower right here. So I'm just gonna tap on the flower and then tap done and then done one more time. And so right here for the drawing pad, if you tap on that and hit clear, and then you draw on this. Now it doesn't look like a flower, but we are going to change that really quickly. So the next thing we're gonna do is come up here to stroke path. And in the stroke path, you have the properties, spacing, jitter, and fall off. We're just gonna work with the spacing right here. So if you, if you move the spacing all the way to the right, you can see that the flowers, um, there's more space between each one. So that if you move it to the left, you can see all the uh, flowers are like bunched together. So I'm gonna space it out. I've got mine at about 84%. And then we are going to move down to properties and under brush behavior, we're going to set the maximum size and the minimum size right here. So if you slide the maximum size to the right, you can see how it changes the brush. The flowers get bigger and smaller if you move when you move the slider to the left and the right. So I my maximum size I'm gonna set it to about 200 um, 225. So this maximum size means that this is the biggest that your brush is going to be. And then you can also set the minimum size right here too. This is set to about 2%. You can put it all the way down to none. I'm just gonna keep it at 1% right there. So that is really the only, the only two, well, three things that we have changed from to make a monoline brush into this flower brush. So to go over that really quickly, again, the first thing we changed was the shape source. So you can pick any, any um, shape source in the source library. You can also import your own shape source. You can take 
a photo or any type of file that you have and you can make your own shape source. So the first thing we did was the shape source and then with the stroke under the stroke path we adjusted the spacing. So that's what we changed under the stroke properties, the spacing and then under just the basic properties under the brush behavior, we changed the maximum size and the minimum size. If you come over here to the drawing pad and clear it, you can change the color, see the pink, and then you can draw right there to see what your brush will look like. And I really love this because you can see changes in real time. So if you, you know, slide this back and forth, you can see exactly how your brush is going to change. So I had this at about 200 or so. And when you have it the way you want, all you, you just hit done. And then in your brush library, it's still under the click calligraphy um, section because that is the place where we duplicated the monoline brush. So here you have the monoline brush and this monoline one is has now become your flower brush. The last thing we need to do, we should change this uh, to say something else other than monoline one. So if you tap on the brush, if you come down to about this brush, you can tap right here and you can change the name of the brush. Just bring up the keyboard and you can change it. I'm just gonna change it to flower one. And then tap done and then you can see that it's named flower one. And I'm going to start a new layer and choose my flower one brush and there is your brand new brush so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you like it give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe and if you want more tutorials please visit my blog at kellyleecreates.com thanks so much for watching and i'll see you next time